Hello and thank you for watching. So I worked on some games in the past, but I was never able to fully release one by myself. So after slapping myself multiple times, I took on the challenge to release the game. And here's how it went. To those of you who haven't watched my previous videos, I wanted to make a mobile game where I could scope it to a reasonable size and handle all the development by myself. And as a result, I chose an endless runner game where you play as a cat who travels through space to rescue other cats. And I chose the cat as the main character because literally every time I walked outside, I saw cats everywhere. Anyway, at the very beginning, I tried to make the core game mechanics and the game loop work. If you want to check out the early development phase, you can see my previous videos. And after I've done so, I started to make improvements to the game art and slowly work toward the latter phase of the game development. Now, there were a lot of works to be done, uh, but the first thing I worked on was the animation for the meteor. I made it rotate so that when it comes hurling at you, it doesn't stay still anymore. And so that was a minor improvement to the game art and animation. Then I wanted to make the background stars look more detailed. So in addition to dotting in more stars, I made it move endlessly. As you can see, I divided the sprites into three parts and programmed each sprite to teleport to the right side when it reaches a certain position toward the left. And so you will always see the stars moving and never stopping. Then I finally added an effect for the pillow upon colliding with other obstacles. I tried to make the pillow twirl off the screen at first due to the comments that were made by some of you in the past, but I had some trouble with the animation, so instead I made a puff like an effect. Puff. Puff. Moreover, to finish off my last task, I made a UI art for the joystick. From what I remember, at this stage I had a solid playable version, so I playtested it with some of my friends. After playtesting, one of the biggest feedback that I got was that for some people, joysticks seemed like a good control, but for the others, they wanted a better precise control option. Kind of like a control pad, so I quickly developed one and made it as an option to the game. And for the control pad as well, I made a UI art and implemented it into the game. And so at the beginning of the game, if you press the options button, you could select either the control pad or the joystick. And the other feedback that I got was to make the game more challenging. And so I added in new obstacles for the game. The first thing that I added was limiting the time that player can travel vertically like this. I created a monster slash rock slash landscape like art asset. Then after making an animation for it, I programmed it so that the obstacle appears for a certain duration and then it disappears. And of course, if you touch it, you will die. Moreover, I made various monsters with different powers to show up in the game. 
as you travel farther and farther, these monsters will come out one by one and will try to stop you. Then I realized that some players needed a tutorial, so I created some basic instructions, implemented it into the game, and now this quick tutorial will appear once when you play the game for the first time. At this point, the gameplay, the shop system, unlocks, tutorial, and other tasks that I have set up was completed. By the way, I created a good amount of items you can buy and unlock. For example, you can buy cool ships that shoot out bullets like this. Also, you can have other different items like this wizard hat, and you can check out more cool items and unlocks in the actual game. And finally, I prepared to submit my game to the App Store. Now, Google Play generously accepted my game right away, and I was able to easily release it. The license fee was only 25 bucks, and overall, the process was super easy, and I love you, Google. However, after taking $100 as license fee, and I haven't even made any money yet, Apple rejected my game on the first submission. I was really, really disappointed, but after going back and forth with Apple and resolving the issues, my game was finally accepted. By the way, just to let you know, Apple didn't want me to use a vendor as the team name, so you will see Sparkle Cat develop under a different name. And I really hope the game is interesting and that you will enjoy the game. I'm going to work to make it better, and please feel free to try it out. It's free, and as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned.